now let's go to the next one now we'll start looking at uh, we already started in a sense but i'll show you how to add all these icons to the list view that we have right now so before going that you know like as usual i've gone to web page we went through in the first video and i've downloaded all these icons and these are the icons that i'm loading there so first uh, again you can if you have many icons you can loop through here for example in this code i'm looping through all the items within the you know within the folder that is ending with jpg but you know like it's totally up to you how you want to do it for now i'm going to manually add these um items and share that this is uh, unique like this so let's add four image to this and I'm gonna rename this to one so this one and then in the bracket one two three four so that I can easily identify them so here I'll say I go So again, for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna do this um, in the you know like in a simpler fashion so that you are able to follow better. Okay. So now basically I've loaded um, to this image. I've loaded four images. Okay. And then I'll try to bring these images to this particular list view. Now here i'm saying that my view is going to be this and then the icons are going to be coming from this particular image list okay and then coming down here let's try to set uh an icon to this one so here for example uh this is the list item and then this is the sub item we're adding and then this is again we've already gone through this index key and then this is text and then right after that there is an icon so maybe you can specify uh, index number for the image here you can even specify the name that you've added to these images okay so well, let's try this one first so I'm saying just add the first image from the image list so you can see all these are ticked so this is as simple as uh, it can be to use this um, let's say that uh, for the third column we want to add another image let's say this is this is first I think now let's say we want to add this second image again this can be dynamically set based on the value we have already seen an, an example here that you can specify what will be you know like um, uh, you know like uh, the item that we declared earlier for sub uh, list sub item and similarly in this fashion you can um, access you know like the properties for the sub items so let me run this again and you can see these are all the icons that have been added um, what else can we do here so this is the way to add it I think you can also add it uh, yeah you can add just the icon without without the text let me show you how to do that okay so this one again is very simple let's say that for the third column we want to just assign an icon not the text so you can simply just get rid of the text parameter here the text portion I'm just gonna remove it and then here I'm gonna see for for example so our fourth icon is um, this I'm gonna load this so here just added the icon okay I think this is because we moved this item the index must have changed but you get the idea this is just the icon without the label okay that's how you can do it so before we end the video let me quickly show you how to read an item that has been selected now let me add this uh, additional text box So going back, um, let's go to click even. 
So when an item is clicked, let's try to get what item has been clicked at that particular point of time. Uh, so to do this, we can use um, selected item property. Let's try to do this. We can say me dot textbox one dot value. This will be our From here, we want to find the selected item, and then we can use the sub item, whatever is the first column for now. Let's start with that. Okay. So you can see it's showing us the first column value at the moment, and so on, Matthew, and so on, like this. So similarly, you can assign multiple you know like for multiple columns just replicate the block the text box if I'm not mistaken we've added three box so text box one two and three so column number one column number two column number three value whatever is selected at that point of time okay hold on I think we missed text box one let me just get rid of this for now text box okay there is no text for this particular column that's why this is blank okay so let's make it four maybe yeah so fourth column is now let me also quickly show you how to look through all the items within the list view and then check if the item has been selected or not so you might want to you know like um, based on the selection you might want to do certain things so this will become very handy let me add another button here Just for now and we can say uh, get selection or something like that okay here we'll just write a small loop again We'll loop from um, zero. That is, uh, I think one starts from one to list item dot counts. Okay. First, we'll try to print this out in our immediate window. Okay. Here we'll say, um, just get this one again. And then one reverse the index at that point of time. Dot text maybe. Um, so if I do control G and run this now, if I run this now, it's basically just gonna just give me all the names, right? Now, with the name, we want to get the status of the selection. So we can print this to the sheet as well, but for now, let's say that, uh, list item dot selected should do i think like that so if item is selected this part will return true else false so let's select um this one this one and this so i've set the multi select property to true for this one and now i'm gonna click on now there are too many items but you can see say nice here so all the items that have been selected will return true so there are too many items at the moment that's why it's not able to print it here so maybe we'll write this value to the worksheet so instead of printing here we can say cells now we want to print it out here we don't want to override sheet one data so we'll just call this output for one moment and we'll print the value from there to that sheet okay sheets and this is gonna be output okay so i is gonna increase this looping from one so i think it should be okay or we can just make it start from row number two and close this so the value of you know like um the list view sub item and then this is the status of that so let's run this again so i'm gonna select um this 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 
was allow men offer us me and what tell done so if I go back here you'll see that all this have been printed to true okay so that's how you can you know like read through all the items you already know that uh, from here that how to get for each column you can use this sub item and then you can specify the column that you need so that's all I have for you in this video in following videos uh, we'll start looking on how to create a dashboard and explore more controls that you can add to your uh, interface you guys have been so great and so supportive so thank you so much for your support thank you for watching if you found this video informative please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe for upcoming videos i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye